my absolute favorite season. It's my birthday, it's Halloween time. I love the cozy vibes, and I'm sure you do too if you're watching this video. If you're new here, my name is Brittany Lopez and I'm a home, lifestyle, and beauty creator here on YouTube. If you're a returning viewer, thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give it a like and share this video with a friend that might be in the market for some fall decor inspo. Before I head into the actual tour of the home and all the fun decor, I wanted to share three tips that I learned. So tip number one. I love to do a blended approach of affordable and expensive. And this really specifically applies to fall decor. It's seasonal, you're gonna have it out for a short time period. You don't wanna invest an arm and a leg unless it's like a skeleton, you know, with this type of decor. In this video, I'm gonna be showing you a mix of those two elements of expensive and affordable. And I just want you to know you don't need all expensive. You don't even need what I have. Just make it your own. Work with what you've got. If you have something existing in your home, definitely use it and repurpose it and make it work. And that way you save money. I think it could look really cute. You can get very creative. Tip number two. Browse and do your research online at your favorite retailers for fall decor and then shop in store. Why I recommend this, you can start envisioning this piece in your home and you know exactly where it's gonna live so it can kind of justify whether you need to purchase it or not. So it always pays to be an informed consumer and do your research and browse online before you make that purchase. If I can purchase it in store, I will. Whether it's curbside or you have to like actually go in and pick it up. You know Pottery Barn for example has that feature where you can buy online, pick up in store. The market also has a feature where you can buy online and then there's curbside pickup with a 10% discount. If you're enjoying this video so far be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video already tip number three tip number three is going to be about planning moments in your home so what I mean by that is figuring out where you want this fall decor to live in your home a entryway is it gonna be a coffee table a dining table figure it out and then start planning moments. For example, in my living room, I knew I wanted it to be neutral and I knew I didn't want my coffee table or my sofa to be cluttered with too many pillows or blankets or decorative accessories. I sort of wanted a more minimal aesthetic. So knowing that, I knew how much I needed to buy or what I needed to place there for the most part and what I didn't need. I also started to plan like the theme or the colors that I wanted to incorporate. Did I want like browns and ambers like I did last year? Or was I looking for something a little different? This year I was thinking black, which is so different for me. I normally don't decorate with black, but for whatever reason this year, black is just speaking to me. So I was like, you know what? I wanna have a black and white moment in my living room. And you'll see this in the footage. So let's say you pick a black and white theme in your living room coffee table. So then you can find things that you already have in your home or you can go shopping for them. You can change the moment or do something similar or different. Um, I like to change things around in different parts of the house. I knew that the dining table was gonna be a little bit different. The coffee bar was gonna be a little different. I wanted to have one area in my home where it was very steamy, spooky, and that was it. And the other places I kind of wanted a more elevated, fall-inspired touch. So not too themey with Halloween hints to that. Those are all my tips. Now it's time to give you a little tour of my home. So without further ado, let's go get creative. Let's go have fun. Let's start unboxing and pulling those bins out of the garage. But first, let me know in the comments how you're decorating your home this fall season. Are you repurposing what you have from last year or are you buying new products? Are you going for a theme this year, like spooky or gory or maybe like fall inspired and just keeping it neutral. Where do you plan on decorating in your home? Like bedroom, living room, kitchen? Let me know, I'm so curious. I started doing a little decorating as you can see. For this space, I wanted it to be Dia de los Puertos, which is Day of the Dead. Corals, skeletons, black and white, a pop of color. I thought this would be a fun place to do it. Let's start decorating for Dia de los Muertos. <laughs> This 
is my little coffee moment. Little spoons that I got from a local vegan restaurant. I have two of these mummy mugs from World Market. They're so cute, but make sure you hand wash. Otherwise, this will happen. Eyes went away. <laughs> so you can see the little circles there for eyes. Mugs are also from World Market. This is glossy finish. And this is matte ceramic finish. Looks so good paired together too. I have some florals from World Market. I have to take the tag off. They're still brand new. This cute picture frame that kind of goes with the black and white theme. Just a little pot. There is nothing in it. But I sourced this from Mexico. This paper banner is also from World Market. Oh my god, I love this. So cute. I got them from Target last year, or two years ago actually, maybe three years ago, honestly. Here, oh, this skull's so pretty. It's a black matte terracotta, and it is from World Market. particular home decor style is a less is more approach. I just love clean lines, not so much clutter, and really good pieces that can stand out on their own beautifully. And this tablescape, I kept it clean, minimal, and I was like, okay, last year I did a brown, tan, beige, warm toned fall decor setup. I was like, you know what, I could do that again, but I want to change things up a little bit. So I decided that I wanted to do black. Like I mentioned before, I don't know what it is with me, but lately I've been wanting to incorporate black into my home. And I really love like little pops of black in there. I think it's super modern and, I don't know, moody a little bit. So I love playing around with color. Um, well, I guess black is technically not a color, it's a shade but you get the point. While we incorporated a new rug for this space temporarily, I wanted to tone down the pattern for any kind of decor in this room. I didn't want it to overwhelm the space. And so I just found some books that I already had at home. This is a Gucci book and then a Modern Residence book. Over here is a little hint to Dia de los Muertos, which I have also in my coffee bar, which I just showed you. This is from World Market and it's handcrafted in Mexico. It's not too heavy, which is great for storing this off season, but it has some weight to it where you feel like it's good quality. My next piece is this coupe candle. It's called Mercer Street. It has jasmine, vetiver, white cedar, and soft musk. This is a black owned brand, and I actually follow the brand on Instagram and the founder, Christina. I discovered this brand back in like 2019. She makes handmade candles. I follow the founder and I follow her brand on Instagram, so I'll make sure to link it in my description so you can give them a follow. She makes amazing, beautiful scents. I know some of the scents also are sometimes available and sometimes not. Um, or discontinued or they reappear later down the line which I've learned over the years. I loved all these scents. I was just like oh my gosh I don't want to ever burn my candle because like what if they never come back. So that's why it's like half burned. 
but I love it because it's a black candle and it's so cute here. If you don't have a candle wick trimmer yet, I suggest you purchase one. I will link this one in my description. It's cute because it's gold. It's lasted me so long. Very chic. I love it. Super cute. These books I actually bought online. I think it was like TJ Maxx or Marshalls Online. And they were on sale. I bought them a couple years ago. Stocked up on a lot of books. I suggest you do the same. As you can see, and as you can tell in my home, I love pottery. To me, it just, it's so special. I think I connect with pottery the most of all decor pieces. I even source them from Greece myself. Like I literally went there and brought it back myself, which is so unique because not many people can say they actually have done that. This is a pot I purchased at, let me purchase it, at the decor shop out in Riverside. It was a while ago and I just loved black at the time too, I guess, apparently. I thought it wasn't so big, so it was great for styling. Florals in here, dried florals, or just nothing. Golden color, sandy neutral against this clay black grayish pot. Oh my God, it looks so good, as you can tell. And it looks even better in person. All the pillows are from Pottery Barn. The bouquet pillow we had since last year, I wanna say. It's nice because you can wash the pillow cover, reuse it, and let's say you want to keep the insert and change up the covers for summertime, you can do that easily with another Pottery Barn cover. Um, for me, I like to invest in pieces that you touch, so like tables, seating, beds, that sort of thing. So for me, a good quality pillow is very important, and now I'm getting into like general home decor, but I'll keep it to fall. <laughs> clay is an amazing all year round fabric that I think is just absolutely fabulous, delicious, so glam, contemporary, modern. Boucle is probably my second favorite fabric, my first one being linen, for obvious reasons, I love linen. I love the Boucle pillow. I paired it with a linen pillow, also from Pottery Barn. That one's new this year. The third pillow, which is a lumbar pillow, is also from Pottery Barn, just neutral, and it makes it couch really cozy. This pillow right here is just an old one from Target. Super cute. But we're going to swap that out for a bouquet pillow. Cool. Yeah, and that's my living room basically. I kept it super neutral, super minimal, elevated I hope, modern. So you see the black and white theme. I really like it. I love walking in this space every day and seeing it. It's just a little touch of Halloween spooky vibes. Keeping it neutral at the same time. Thank you again for watching this video. If you liked this video, learned something new, or were inspired by something, definitely give this video a like and feel free to subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. So this concludes part one of Decorate With Me Fall Edition. We covered my living room, coffee nook, and some tips I wanted to share with you. Make sure to watch part two where I will cover dining room, bedroom, and I don't know, any little nooks that I have here in my home or maybe my office, we'll see. Thank you so much again for coming to my channel. Be sure to subscribe if you love this video, like this video, give it a thumbs up, tap the bell for notifications, and I will see you at part two.